personally felt anxious or fearful at some point as a result of being on social media or having access to information on the internet. When you're struggling with comparison, it can make you feel more anxious about like the expectations that people have on you and like what you're measuring up to. And so I think that um, social media has kind of done that in my life a little bit, um, especially as a designer. I think that um, when I'm seeing all those great designs from everybody else by getting um, inspired by so many different pages and people, um, a lot of times instead of positively affecting me, it can make me feel super like, uh, what am I doing? Like, am I really like that good compared to all these other people? Um, to me, anxiety is pretty much uh, a lack of control or lack of feeling in control. So um, I think social media has made me anxious, to be honest, because it's not about, uh, for me, it's not about, oh, they have this, I don't. Um, but seeing a lot of the things that's going on in the news and a lot of things that's going on around us that we kind of feel that we don't have control, I think sometimes those things can get overwhelming. Although we're never really in control, that's why I'm not all the way over there, I think part of me understands that. So I think for the most part, um, I can level myself down from going all the way into like an anxiety attack. For me, it wasn't anxiety, it was more fear, just because I know that everything that you put out there is public and at some point, if you make a mistake, then it can come back years, months later to kind of catch up with you, especially with our employers, with other friends. And then also sometimes you feel constricted on your opinion because you are trying to kind of like please people, but at the same time you don't want to. So you want to have that strong, strong stand, but at the same time, kind of like be flexible and so on. It has a funny way of creating comparison when I wasn't thinking that way, or creating a sense of anxiety or likes, like you might post something that's the same as somebody else, and because there's a like element to it, you're starting to like feel like it wasn't as good as the next person, but I wasn't comparing until they added that. Like, and I don't feel like a victim, but I just know the way that it's geared creates a culture in itself that, for me, produces a lot of anxiety. You know, we always post the, the, the good in our life um, and not necessarily all the bad. And that kind of, you, you, see, you see that person's feed and, and they're having a great time. Um, but you don't see the whole picture. Um, but even just that fear of like, oh, I have to like try to curate my my feed to, to make it look good or, um, and unintentionally uh, that has even like caused some anxiety of like, oh, I, is this the right thing to post? And so in the past, like if I pull up somebody's story and it's like a, my friend group hanging out without me, like that would make me feel like, oh, like it would, it would break me. But when I realized that is when I took a break from social media um, and really like just focused on myself, focused on my relationship with the Lord. Um, and so like now, like, yes, there's fears and, and anxieties that come from what's happening in the world, but it's like, it just makes me wanna pray even more. It just makes me wanna trust him even more. Something I've noticed recently, when I'm on Instagram, I, I usually just go to the explore page. I don't post much. Um, and I'll notice it could be like even a video of like a puppy and if I ever look at the comments, people still manage to fight. Um, and I'm such an empathetic person that brings like a lot of feelings out of me of just like sad, um, whether it be like fearful for like what's happening and why people are so angry, it just like brings a lot of those feelings out of me. Yeah, I think social media is like a lot of people's only source of validation and they kind of look to it to gauge if what they're doing is right and what they're doing is working, um, which, I would say like it's, I mean, it, it can be a meter, like you can like, I'm doing something like right, you could do that, but I feel like for it to be your only source of validation causes a lot of anxiety in a lot of um, the youth just because, you know, like if they don't see a number, a set number of likes, they're like, this isn't a good photo or whatever, or a good design or whatever. But um, 
yeah, I just think they have, a lot of people have the wrong priorities, including me, just because um, I, I struggle with comparison a lot, and I always look at other people's you know, artwork or whatever posts, but um, I have to remember that that's not where my validation comes from. Okay, cool. Um, I think for me, I'm over here because I'm going off like my initial like response, and so like I get I can get very anxious when I'm about to post something on social media, and then my mind goes to, oh my gosh, if I post this, what are they gonna think? Um, are they gonna like that I did this? Are they gonna like that I did that? So I go off like that's my initial response. I end up posting it anyways because um, YOLO, but that's not kind of how I feel. And then. Um, and then my initial response to fear would be like, because there's so much information, sometimes I forget that all the information that I get, I have to process it through like different lens and doing research. But if I'm not careful how I'm processing it, like my initial reaction is to be fearful when it's something like, I didn't really have to be fearful about that. Mm -hmm.